this is a hybrid yoga practice, meaning we'll work on a lot of elements of the yoga practice, being the side body lengthening, shoulder work, hamstring work, a few hip openers. It's a very special practice for me because I have images of people that have practiced with me over the years and the remembrance of their practice is so special to me. We'll start in a seated position. With the eyes closed, allow your breath to draw in and out so fully. Hear the sound of the breath. We're offering our practice to ourselves. So often I find myself being upset about something that I didn't do or didn't do perfectly like I wanted to. And I find myself just becoming so upset that I didn't do it in a way that I wanted to. And yet I rarely thank myself for things that turn out so well. And especially in yoga, I'm always beating myself up for not practicing enough. But today, when I'm coming to the mat and working on this practice, I thank myself. I'm so thankful that I'm able to come to the mat to spend this time to work on three things that I've really wanted to work on in my practice for a while. So we'll work on strengthening the legs, drawing the legs in toward the midline of the mat, lengthening through the side body, and taking the head of the arm bone back in today's practice. Continue to enjoy the breath, Now come to a standing position and uh, standing in Tadasana with your feet parallel to each other. Lift your arms up and spread your fingers. Draw in from the fingers all the way to the pelvis. Draw in from the toes all the way to the pelvis. Bend your knees and lower yourself down to Utkatasana. This pose is such a strong pose. It enables us to just kind of check in with the fullness of the length of the side body. Just look down toward the heart and you'll get the back body even more full. Two more breaths in this pose with the fingers engaged, the toes spreading and planted. And on the next in breath, Rise up, lift yourself all the way up. Now from the arms, lift it up. Exhale, come down to the forward fold in Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Walk, step, or jump back to Downward Facing Dog. In Downward Facing Dog, enjoy your breath. Look at your foundation, spread your fingers more, claw the earth and release the head and neck. Just relax here in the pose and enjoy the fact that you're on the mat, the fact that you're able to just move one leg and then the other and to draw your gaze inward. The yoga practice enables us to just come inside creating this sense of knowing ourself a little bit better, creating a sense of spaciousness. Get more space now by reaching your right leg straight back in a three-legged dog. Engage the leg so powerfully that you just manage to draw in from the right heel all the way to the heart and then extend out from the heart all the way to the heel. On the next in-breath, now step the right foot right between the hands. Plant the back heel, lift all the way up to Virabhadrasana number two. So the back leg stays so strong that it enables you to just soften on the front thigh. As the front thigh draws down toward the earth, 
Take a nice steady gaze out over the fingers as you reach your gaze toward the extended right foot. Just soften the outer body as you continue to strengthen the fullness of your breath. Now reach your left hand back, lift your right arm up to come to a goddess warrior pose. Expand so fully the right side ribs. Now release your hands back to the earth. We'll repeat that again. We'll come back to downward facing dog and enjoy your breath so fully here. Reach your left leg straight back again with the left leg reaching straight back. Have this nice line of energy and draw in from the heel to the heart, from the hands to the heart, and then expand out to get the side body long. On the next inhale breath, step the left foot right between the hands. Lift yourself up to come to Virabhadrasana number two with the left foot forward and the back right foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Draw into your power. Just soften. Let that softening be that thank you. Let the in-breath that drawing in action be your strength and acknowledging that strength to soften into it. As you're ready, you can extend your right hand back, your left arm up to come and expand the side body even more. Enjoy the breath again here in this pose. Now come out of the pose and step your feet together. Come to Tadasana in the middle of the mat, facing the long edge of the mat. Spend a moment in Tadasana engaging fully with the feet hip distance apart. Draw in from that strong foundation of the feet to the pelvis and then extend back from the pelvis to the earth. Keep that awareness of the strength of the legs. Step your feet wide apart to come to Prasarta Paratanasana. Look at your feet. Make sure that they're nice and parallel to each other. As you're ready, place your hands to the mat. Come to fingertip top position and look forward to once again engage the length that we were working on in Virabhadrasana 2 in the warrior pose. The length of the side body extends as you gaze forward. Maintain that hugging in action of the legs. And on your next exhale breath, draw down into the forward fold. Invite the breath to create more softness, more of a sense of ease on the out breath, taking you deeper into the pose. Now take your hands at the hips, scoop the tailbone and rise up. Extend your right toes toward the short edge of the mat and keep your left foot parallel to the the opposite end of the mat with the legs strong and straight on the inhale breath expand your wings lift your arms up so fully on the exhale breath just take the right hand down to the shin bone the left hand lifts up the underside ribs lift up enjoy your breath here as you maintain the engagement of the back leg, to soften in the pose and see if you can even maintain more length. We worked on the length of the side body. Now we're just lengthening the hamstring slightly. 
keep the underside ribs lifting up and on the next inhale breath root down through the back foot and rise up now let's draw to the other side so take the left toes toward the short edge of the mat have the right foot parallel to it and lift your arms up once again and then on the exhale breath take the left hand down oh, good the back leg stays so strong you encourage the breath to help lift the underside ribs and you just kind of close your eyes here for a moment to thank yourself for coming to the mat to do this practice to work on the hamstrings just for a short and easy practice today to work on three areas that we all could use a little work on. Press down in through the back foot and inhale to rise up. Have your feet parallel to each other again to come to Prasarata Padottanasana. This time, interlace your fingers behind your back. Draw the inner edges of the shoulder blades toward the spine so that you take the heads of the arm bones back. You'll find that with the fullness of your in-breath, you can expand the side body so much. And on the exhale breath, shift the inner thighs back. Lift the interlaced fingers up toward the sky as you bow forward in the fullness of the pose. Enjoy your breath here. As we soften into the pose to come to a deeper expression of the pose, you feel the sense of encouragement. You're on the mat, you're working on different aspects of the pose, and you feel yourself just paying just a little bit more attention to the actions of the poses. And now scoop the tailbone and rise up. Lift up out of the pose and release the interlaced fingers. Now step the feet to the front of the mat. Come back to Tadasana so that you can shift and take the weight um, <clears throat> in Pars Bhotanasana. Take the weight to the back leg, which would be your left leg. The right foot is forward. Now, just hold on to the elbows, or if you can, have the fingers in this nice uh, prayer pose. In this pose, lift your heart, take more weight back to the back leg. And just open the heart so fully, invite the breath in so fully. And as you're ready, just come halfway down into the forward fold. We've been working on lengthening the side body, so from the pelvis to the heads of the arm bones. Gain as much length as you can as you keep the heads of the arm bones lifting. Press down through the base of the thumb so that you can get the shoulder blades to hug in toward each other. And now on the next in-breath, root down through the back heel and rise up. Step the back leg forward. Take the right leg back. And press into the back heel. And once again, press the hands in a prayer pose or hold on to the elbows or the wrists, whichever work for you. Lift the gaze of your heart up toward the sky. And with the heads of the arm bones drawing back, the back leg so strong, just bow forward halfway again. Just enjoy that and continue to let the shoulder blades lift up. Just thank yourself as you continue this rooting quality of the back leg. Rather than go to that spot of, of the perfect pose or the most extended pose, to see how you can just kind of hang out here in this half forward fold and build your strength 
If you'd like to come even deeper into the forward fold and draw the heart toward the extended left leg, feel free to. Reach your left arm up toward the sky so that you have this n nice long length that's almost like the left arm begins all the way at your back left heel. Have this nice length of the side body. Exhale, take the left hand just to the inside of the right foot in this nice long stance. Or you can take the left hand just to the outside of the right foot Take the head of the arm bone back. Come to Parvrita Trikonasana. With the head of the arm bone back, lift your arm up. See about stacking the shoulders. This is a very challenging pose and just combines all of the items that we've been working on today to work the hamstrings, the side body, the heads of the arm bones, and especially the strength of the legs continue to draw in so fully. Maintain that strength, the strength of the legs as you root down, rise up to come out of the pose. Step the back foot forward so that the left foot is forward now and take the right leg back. Take the hands to the pelvis to begin with. With the back heel so solidly on the floor, Again, exaggerate the length by lifting your right arm up. Just keep the left hand to the waist. The back heel presses down so effectively. You can reach now toward the front of the mat. Extend the right arm forward as you come halfway down. Keep the arm and the ear lined up. Release the hand to the floor or to the block, whichever works for you. Squeeze in, draw the legs into the midline of the mat with the left hand at the waist. Just draw the head of the arm bone back. Keep on pressing into the earth with the right hand. And just come to your form of the pose today. Just go slowly into the pose and have as the last sort of whistle and bell to your pose the lift of the left hand. Continue to encourage your underside ribs to lift their gaze up toward the sky with the rooted quality of the back leg. It's from there, the back leg that you lift up. Press down through the back leg and inhale. Rise up out of the pose and release your hands down. Now come to lie down on the mat. When you're lying down on your back, Bend the knees and invite the breath in and out very fully. As you do, with the feet planted, and you witness the ribs moving with the breath. Now take your right ankle just to the top of the left thigh. Lift your left foot away from the floor. You can draw the right knee away from the ribs. Draw the left thigh slightly closer to the ribs. Interlace your fingers right in the belly of the hamstrings. Just close your eyes and invite the breath to expand yourself in the pose even more. Very nice. Release the interlaced fingers. Press both feet to the mat again. When you're lying here on the mat, it's just such a comforting feeling. You feel so strong. You want to thank yourself so much for coming to the mat today, for doing this, this short practice, for grounding you for enabling you to get a sense of that inner strength. Just through creating the stability on the back body, 
you find that strength. Now let's get slightly more flexible by taking the left ankle to the top of the right thigh, hugging the right thigh in, interlacing your fingers behind the back of the leg. So the interlaced fingers hug the right thigh in. Yeah, the strength that you engage in the pose. Draw your left knee slightly wider. Release your feet back to the floor and do whatever movements call to you right now. Like a happy baby pose or or just pelvic movement. Come to Shavasana and enjoy your breath of the backs of the hands. Rest on the mat, the legs and the arms equal distance from the midline of the body. Now bend your knees and roll over to the right side. Use your hands and your arms to lift yourself up to come to a seated pose. Close your eyes in the seated pose. We gave ourselves time to, to come to the breath to become aware of the actions of setting a nice foundation, gaining strength in our legs, 
gaining length in the back sides of the legs and length in the side body. And we took the heads of the arm bones back to give us more spaciousness for our breath. Let's honor those actions and thank ourselves so fully by taking the hands in front of the heart, lifting the heart high. Namaste.